I'm not going to lie. There's a part of me as having been someone who cared for someone that went through that. There are times when you see them struggling so much and you know that they just don't want to be around much anymore, that they, it's hard not to think, man, if I could help them somehow just leave this earth quicker. <laughs> Hello again, everybody, and welcome to an all new episode of the Wrestling Time Machine by Sportskeeda. And of course, you find us right here on YouTube at WrestleBinge and anywhere you download your favorite podcast. Hello again, everybody. My name is Mac Davis. I am your host for the Wrestling Time Machine, along with my two co-hosts each and every week. First of all, he is a pro wrestling journalist, legendary as a matter of fact. His name, Mr. Bill Actor. Hey, Bill. A legend in my own mind. I, again, I stole that from Captain Lou Albano. And Teddy and I agree. And speaking of Teddy, <laughs> along with us, of course, Bill and myself, is WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. Teddy Long. Hey, Teddy. Well, well I'm in here today, and I just want the people to understand, you know, if I start losing my voice al <laughs> along the way, I want you to know that Mac, before we started recording here, Mac has been coughing, spreading the flu all through the, yes. the everywhere, so... <laughs> So I may, oh, I think I got it. Oh, 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 oh. I actually, I actually had to cancel a uh, booking because of being sick, and I have never canceled a booking. See, I go right into somebody the, uh, cut Teddy's mic off now. <laughs> I, I, I go into the Jerry Lewis school of coughing. Oh, I had me laugh. That was uh, it. Teddy's impressed. <laughs> I hey, listen, I want to thank you, uh, everybody, by the way, yeah. for incredible following the, the past few shows. And there's just one word that needs to be in the headline before we get started on the topics today. And that is Vince. 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 Vince yeah, my goodness, the backlash and the talk about him all over, not just the Internet, but everywhere. Uh, again, the allegations against him are so strong and people See, look here have, bill's trying to take over the show i'm no, not no, even wait, 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 talking about that wait a minute, but people have told me yeah. that uh a lot of other people are going to go down now because of this whole and we'll talk, we'll talk about that but hang on for a minute i got i'm going to ask you something else before we even jump into the wrestling i part. just wanted to mention it so people would go like they're talking about vince let's watch it oh, okay well that's they okay. will Okay, That's look it. here. I, I, I want to ask real fast because, Teddy, I know you're a football fan. Uh, Bill, I'm not sure. Did you get a chance to watch the Super Bowl? Oh, when was it? Yes, of course I did. I, listen, all that matters about the Super Bowl is that Taylor and Travis are happy. It, it, Teddy, you saw the Super Bowl, right? Yes. Look, I, I came home. Now, I went to a cookout, <clears throat> and I had a few adult beverages while I was at the cookout. And between the cookout and coming to the house to watch the Super Bowl— I ran into the house, turned on the TV, or streamed the TV, and uh, put it on the football game. Now, I've had a few drinks. Keep in mind, I've just said, I've been to a cookout. Had all drinks, few... like straight Coca-Cola <clears throat> instead of diet, right? Sure, sure. Okay, that's it. Okay, uh, okay. And I come into the house, and I sit down, and I start watching the football game. <clears throat> now, like I said, I've been sick, so I've been taking cold medicine, too. And I'm starting to think the cold medicine and alcohol are not a good combination. Because as I sit down to watch the Super Bowl, I start hearing SpongeBob and Patrick talking. Now, I have, I'm sitting there for about a minute going, what the hell? I'm, man, I got to quit taking this cold medicine. Only to find out that Nickelodeon was actually broadcasting the Super Bowl with SpongeBob and Patrick as host. It yeah. me for a loop. I really thought I went into the Twilight Zone. I'm sitting there looking at the TV going, <laughs> I hear SpongeBob. What the f is going on here? It was crazy. But it was a good Super Bowl. And right now, you know what? At the end, end of that, up. at the end of that, uh, after Travis and uh, Taylor kissed, when he got up to that micro, he is such, he's got to go into pro wrestling. Let me tell you, everyone, we've got the. He's, and you know, he and his brother have a podcast and they talk about wrestling quite a bit. I will bet you that uh, since WrestleMania 40 is going to be in Philadelphia, that they're going to be there and make their presence known. I don't know it for for sure, but I can guarantee you because they're a hot Philly town. And I can tell you that on a uh, coming up episode of Road Trip After Hours, it will be a Swifty Cam episode 
uh, with Taylor Swift Swifty Cam. Uh, so keep your eyes out. For wait, that. wait, it's wait! You got to tell me about this. My no, wife is no, no. That's all I'm going to tell you. It's just a tease. Oh, so you got you got to catch the Swifty Cam episode of Road Trip After Hours. I know one. Uh, wait, wait! I can. Yeah. Uh, I can now you know what I'm. Yeah, I'm just sitting there. You two. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. Bill Apter has a history of going to Magic City. Okay. <laughs> Now there's Mac over here. Now he wants a Swifty cam. I don't. You you two are, are really up to something. I I, I don't Mac, know. Mac Mac Mac. <laughs> yes. Mac. One yes. day I'll be living in a big old city, and all you're ever gonna be is mean. I got my Taylor stuff going on, and Miley too. All right, so let's talk about something else that's kind of sad in the news here. Uh, just recently, we all heard, and most people watching right now probably uh, heard the news, that Billy Jack Haynes was arrested for murder of his wife, uh, who had been dealing with uh, Alzheimer's, as I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Bill, can you uh, tell us more? Well, first of all, before I get to you, Bill, Teddy, did you ever have a chance to work with Billy Jack Haynes? Yeah, I worked with him back in the day uh, when we were in WCW. How was the guy? Was he was he a nice guy? Oh yeah, yeah, real nice guy, real nice guy to work with, man. Very nice guy, man. That's yeah. and when I heard that, I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's I know that he's had some issues in the last few years. You hear stories once in a while, and uh, and I just figured it was just him getting a little bit older and a little crankier. But uh, this well, this, this know, story's man. changed now. We don't we don't know. Bill, you knew Billy Jack Haynes pretty well, didn't you? Yeah, I knew him back when he uh, uh, was in Portland, where he first started. And then he really made his mark in Florida, uh, feuding with superstar Billy Graham, the Battle of the uh, of the Full Nelsons. Um, he was a huge star there. Then, of course, he went to WWE for a while. He worked a lot of the independents. He was a solid muscle man wrestler. A lot of people thought that, you know, he was a little too controversial in the past few years. Um, one of the people that uh, uh, booked me for... Uh, a virtual signing, Nick Christie, uh, asked me if I could talk to Billy Jack Haynes and get him booked. So I called Billy Jack Haynes middle of December and he answered the phone and he left me a message. Let me see if I can, if I can play this. Sure. Um, um, hold on a minute. All right. Hold we, on. Hang on. Job. We're in no hurry. My wife is just in. Teddy's in Shores. Listen, listen. Bill Aptor, this is Billy Jack. Uh, didn't know you were trying to get a hold of me. Um, my wife has just been in the hospital for the past two weeks. And so I've been, uh, really, it's been kind of a hectic time. So just, um, if you need to get a hold of me, call me and I'll have this phone with me. So uh, be looking forward to your call. Um, but don't pick it up right away. As soon as you hang up, you know, I get away from uh, the nurse and so forth, and I'll call you. Could you hear your voice, man? Thank you very much. Bye. So his wife had uh, Alzheimer's, from what I understand, dementia. Um, not justifying anything what he's accused of. But uh, I know families that have gone through this, and it's a very, very horribly tough situation i don't i was going to say yeah. bill you know uh and teddy you both know that uh, i dealt with alzheimer's in our family my father had it and i took care of him for five years and when i heard the story that he had shot his wife and then i heard she had alzheimer's i'm not gonna lie there's a part of me as having been someone who cared for someone that went through that there are times when you see them struggling so much and you know that they just don't want to be around much anymore that they it's hard not to think, man, if I could help them somehow just leave this earth quicker, you know, because it, it, it's hard to explain unless you go through it and Alzheimer's with somebody and you watch their memories fade away and, and, and how miserable they become. Um, it, it, it's really sad. So I almost kind of understood at that point going out and in my back of my mind, I'm thinking, did he do it to just as a mercy? You know, is that what, you know, caused him to pull that trigger? I, I don't know. Or uh, did he I, or did he do it? Yeah, you and, and you know, know, and they did say that he uh, he had contemplated shooting himself. I thought I read that somewhere. Yeah, yeah I did too. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know. I, I, this is a sad situation. We lost somebody, uh, and, uh, and and until we know more, you know, it's just our thoughts and prayers with the family. Uh, it's that just lost so horrible. It's so horrible when something like this happened. 
but he's uh, just getting back to his uh, wrestling career. Uh, we covered him in the magazines all the time. We had him on stories inside the magazine. We had him on covers. He looked right, Teddy. He looked incredible, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He always yeah. stayed in shape, man. Whenever you saw him, man, he looked, he looked great, man. He kept himself in shape. He you sure know, did. And I was touching. I mean, not touching. I was just listening to what Mac was saying. You know, we don't know whether that he may have done that out of just tired of seeing his wife suffering or whatever, but. I, you know what I mean? I my, I feel a little bit different like that. You know, my wife went through the same thing. I watched her deteriorate, you know, each day. And uh, my thought on that is I didn't never want to do nothing that I could do to take her out of her misery. I thought that every day that she was alive, she had another chance. So mm -hmm. that's how I look at it. If she woke up and was alive that day, then she might get well or that God may fix it or yeah. something. So I leave taking someone's life to God. That's, that's his call. How so, many yeah. years did you go through that with your wife, Teddy? Uh, about two years. Okay. I well, don't know she how she had been sick for a while, but right. she had got, you know, she could still move around, but she had got so where the, she had got the neuropathy so bad that she couldn't even walk anymore. We had to carry her like a baby. Yeah. And uh, she couldn't eat anymore, you know, so we she she was like 98 pounds. So I watched her just, yeah. you know, the, yeah. you know, yeah, not 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 an easy thing to do. Uh, no, any no, reason. no. Uh, man. And I took care of like like she was a baby because she couldn't yeah. do nothing, you know. So now I had yeah. to change her diapers, you know, and all that stuff, man. So, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah.